Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3 Part 117. And we are back in the Maserati, so you know what that means. It's more R2 shenanigans. As we reach the halfway point of the R2 World Championship, we're going to New York for this race. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How much party have you missed time-wise? I've been streaming for almost three and a half hours now. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to go to New York for 16 laps and hopefully avoid any kind of giant holocaust. Oh boy. Of course, you know, avoiding some kind of giant holocaust in New York circuit. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. That's not going to happen. At least that's probably not going to happen. But I don't, I don't expect it to happen. I don't know, only one way to find out, and that's to do the actual race, so... Time to reach the halfway point. Uh, stuff. So here we go. Lined up on the grid next to Evans and his McLaren F1. Off we go. Who's gonna get the advantage into the first chicane? It is Rossi. My file in second. Takahashi third. Evans fourth. Oh, how you doing, Rossi? Oh, how you doing, Takahashi? Excuse me. Jesus. Motherfucker's getting aggressive here, myself included. Oh, that's that slipstreaming, man. Gave Rossi a hell of a run, but couldn't do anything with it. Feel kind of fanning out there at the exit of that turn. And I'm already P1. That actually took less time than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to get such a good like start to this. Move right up into second. But that is in fact what happened. Although my straight line speed has been compromised thanks to that uh contact with Rossi and Takahashi. So that might keep Rossi close, at least for a while. but I'm expecting to pull away here. Oh god. This camera's kind of no. Well, it's it is I have it zoomed out. Cubby's cuz I'm doing the multi screen trick for the better FOV in in car view so you know under normal conditions this camera would be closer to the car and it, therefore a lot better so I had I had to make a sacrifice for this camera to have a really a much better in car camera the sacrifice I was willing to make so, you know, things. Anyways, we are on lap three. Takahashi has already fallen out of the podium, as expected. And I'm just kind of running away with this bitch. Once again, as expected. That was a big freaking slide. Gotta be careful with them curbs. Yeah. Just a, you know, clarification for you. Also, the field's still pretty tight together. I'm surprised there hasn't been any crashes yet, considering the nature of these chicanes. But no, everybody's made it through so far. Myself included, somehow. This is the one we have to really be careful with, because that's the hardest chicane of all four of them. Got 
thought that chicane's difficult. That was almost slamming into the inside wall. Letting my guard down here, just because I have a two and a half second advantage. Ugh, that was disgusting. Disgusting belchels. I just lost 500 subscribers from that, probably. I don't know. Shut up, me. It's about as much as I lost from that subscriber purge recently. I'm like, hey, I have 8,000. That's fucking awesome. Oh, I back down to like 7,700. Okay. Well then. Nikes. Evans and Rossi pretty close to each other. That's a little battle for second going on here. I, uh, I still don't exactly know how to pronounce your name. Oos. House. Sure. I'm doing alright. Just racing my race car around New York. Some slight damage to it. Yeah, 16 laps queue. It's because of the World Championship, and this is a very short track. These laps are less than a minute. This is actually going to be one of the shorter World Championship races. This is going to be under 16 minutes. Austin Evans are freaking nose to tail. It's about the only real battle happening here on the track. And again, really. Okay, that was awful. <laughs> Whoops. It is Al's? What? I mean, I suck at pronouncing names, so, you know. Boy, it's going to be interesting how this damage affects me here. Through this chicane. Not much. I think I might have taken it a little slower. Just, oh, fuck. Okay. Just a little love tap on the wall. No damage. We're good. Well, no further damage. We're good. Everything's fine. Anyways, I was gonna say something before I royally fucked up the chicane last lap. I think something about this place being a very hard place to overtake, so I'm not expecting much to happen here. As far as battles, also looks like Evans might have went for something and had to back off, because he's 200 feet behind... He's about a second behind Rossi now. It's with O, not A, so... O O's. Fucking I don't know. I don't know anymore. We're halfway through the race. End car, go. Get to New York inside the car now. So it's Oswayway? Is, is that what it is? Oh 
approach Nikes. Okay, we're good. Hooray! Correctly pronouncing things. Congrats. Congregation, I did it. Or, excuse me, I done it. So this is going about like an average New York race in this game. I'm just fucking dominating. <laughs> Congrudles. Whoop. Hey, the I Jast is a back. Went from a went from a 350Z to a well not LMP we went to a, a GT1 car. You're close, I guess. Six laps to go. my peak cubbies. At least that's about around where my peak is as far as number of viewers. Oh god. That could have ended all kinds of awful, but I got out of there unscathed somehow. Not sure how. So um, I think I've managed to fix uh, my controller unplugging issues, and that is to just never fucking unplug it from my 360. Oh my god, that was close! Like the unnecessary upshift into six, and that that whoo, that was close. I think a GT Sport. I think it's going to be a really good game that a lot of people are going to hate for absolutely no logical reason. Like, they're pretty much going to hate it just because. Just because it's new and it's not GT4 remastered or GT2 remastered, basically. Or because it doesn't come with GT, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 PSP Taurus Trophy remastered. Yeah, I'm going to lose connection, I guess. My controller. It seems if I just never unplug it, keep it plugged in, it seems to uh, behave a little better, which is nice. Yeah, same about Heat Evolution. Everyone, it's going to be a very good game that everyone's going to hate. And I'm sure a lot of people are extremely butthurt because of the recent uh, delay of the game. But, you know, I'm, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I'd probably be a slightly upset if I actually did, owned an, either already owned a PS4, but, you know, I've dealt with GT5's five years of delays, so this is nothing to me. Yeah, the game got delayed until early next year. So we actually have to wait till next year for GT Sport. I remember actually canceling that uh that beta or whatever, so they wouldn't have to delay the game till next year, and then they had to do it anyways, just to make sure you know they actually released a completed product. Because the last thing we need is another uh, simulation-style racing game with an extremely buggy and just overall atrocious launch, <clears throat> Project Cars. Yeah, 
area. I have no idea what that is, whatever you just asked me. Two, anyways, two laps to go here. Now, nah, heat evolution isn't delayed. I mean, it's all but gone gold, I think. Speaking of, Horizon 3 has gone gold. Which is good. Yeah. Just don't, Denny. Just don't buy piss cars. Not worth it. Which is really sad for me to say, because that game had potential to be one of my favorite games ever, just based on the career structure alone, with all the races and shit. But they fucked it up. They, they fucked it up. Basically, when a game goes gold, that means, that, like, it's complete and it's, uh, out for, like, production. Like, it's... It's uh, ready to be copied onto discs to sell. That's what going gold means. Uh, I'm planning on getting Horizon 3 for the Xbox. Considering I don't, I'm still using Windows 7, so you know. game was a, made a mistake, uh, Project Cars, just this, this absolutely atrocious launch, and, um, you know, Ian Bell's a fuckwit. Hey, there we go, we won the race. Does that have crossplay? Yeah. Forza Horizon 3 is gonna have crossplay, and it's, like, gonna have to where you can, you know, pick up a save, like, you have a save game on the Xbox One, you can go to your PC and play from that save on the PC. Anyways. Okay, there we go. There's the results. No accidents in this race is actually really surprising considering it's fucking New York, but hey. Guess it works. Rossi ties up the point standings with Evans yet again with his second place finish. And Spears is still stuck at only one point. Hooray. So there we go, we are finally at the halfway point of the R2 World Championship. Five races to go, and then we get to move on to the next uh, season and season play. And stuff, so. Hooray. Now we get to choose another race series to do, which you should know what's coming, because next time on Forza 2, we're going to be doing the next Versus series, which is NSX versus Skyline. So, stay tuned.